Are you pulling the golf ball on a regular basis, standing in the center of the fairway, easy shot to a wide open green, and you always tend to be missing it to the left? Well, stay tuned. This video is gonna solve that problem. I'm gonna explain exactly why that's happening and how to fix it. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here on the range today at Junalup Resort. And in today's session, we're gonna be talking all about eliminating that pull shot. The pull shot, or when you get to the top of your swing, the club comes over the top and goes straight left of the green for the right hander. It's one of the most common misses that we see with players. And there's a lot of reasons why this can happen. And we're gonna be covering a few of them in today's session. But before we get into it, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell, so you get notified of all the other content coming your way. And also just a note that I am available for online coaching, we can either do personalized swing analysis. I can draw some lines over your swing, compare it to the professional, and also stand in front of the camera such as this and give you some personalized exercises and drills to work on those frustrations. Alternatively, you can head over to kggolf.com and join up to my video membership. It's a very low price with over 200 premium videos not seen here on YouTube. But let's talk about that pull shot and how to get rid of when you're standing in the center of the fairway and you keep missing the green to the left-hand side for the right hand to flip that around if you're a left-hander. And there's a few reasons why this would happen, but it always starts from a conceptual basis. And what does that mean? Well, a lot of players to the top of their golf swing are trying to get the golf club back to the ball by doing one of two things. Number one, trying to spear the golf club back towards impact. And as we do so, you can see that that handle moves very down and quickly towards the golf ball. The second that we see is players with the concept, if they get to the top of their swing, they leave their arms up at the top and then they just rotate. Once again, you can see that the hand path is moving too much out towards the golf ball. As an effect of doing so, once we get into this position, both of these movements effectively shift our swing direction too far left of the target as our club comes into impact and it's gonna cause the club to cut across the golf ball in that direction. Let's hit a shot and show you what that looks like. So the first one, we're gonna try to spear the golf club into the ball. So this one here, as I do that, is gonna start well left of the target as a result. You can see pulled around my body. The second version of that is when players get to the top of their swing with an understanding or a concept that they think that they need to, from the top here, keep the arms up and just rotate. Well, in space, what happens, as you'll see from face on here, is that the body starts to turn so much that the club can only go too far left. We don't have any room to swing towards our target. That would look like this. As you can see, once again, starting dead left of our intended target. So when it comes to what we see with the professional, it's actually quite different. Both of those concepts that players seem to have, number one, of getting to the top of their swing and either spearing the golf club down towards the ball, well, that's just going to ensure that your weight is staying too far back. Or secondary, leaving your arms up and rotating too much, you can see how that throws the club across the line. Now, what we see with the pro is quite different. As they get to the top of the swing, what we generally see with the hand path from the top here is that the hand path would actually move more of a straight down manner. It would work underneath the shoulder plane. So the shoulder plane is this line here. As the golf club then moves down, we would see that it would move in a more vertical position down towards the feet line rather than out towards the golf ball. When I do this, that shaft plane just gets thrown across the line. But what we see with the professional, this little move here where the club moves down into position just allows us to get the golf club underneath ourselves. And then as you can see, it gives us lots of room to swing more on line with the target, albeit out to the right, and help us get a little bit more of that draw bias. So this is just a shift in concept. Instead of getting to the top of the swing and trying to throw the handle at it, keep the arms up and rotate too much, the professional, well, it's a disassociation between the lower body and the upper body. And what we see with the best players from the face on view here is as the lower body is shifting towards the target in the transition, the arms are naturally dropping underneath their body. That right arm for the right hander would be straightening. That then combined with some rotation would give them plenty of room to ramp up that speed and get the golf club 
heading in the direction of our target. Well, how do we work on this? How do we ensure that from the top of the golf swing, we're not coming straight over the top and sending that ball left of our target? Now, the pull shot, important to understand, if it doesn't slice back, all it means is that the club face is aiming in the same direction as the path. If my face is slightly open to that pull shot, well, that would result in a slice. Now, the ball could still start right at the target and slice, but effectively, the cause of the issue is that from the top of the swing, that hand path is moving too far out towards the golf ball in such a fashion that it's gonna direct it too far to the left through impact. The professional, once again, as we get to the top, we see that the hand path would tend to move a little bit more vertical down. Yes, the shaft would still be shallow, but the end of the handle would move down. And then as they begin to rotate, the body would come through and the ball would start on our intended line. So a lot of professionals do work on this because it's one of the most common faults that we see with players is that they will get to the top, their arms get stuck to their body. And as they rotate, the club gets thrown out too much, which would then shift their ability to create that consistent contact with the golf ball. Now, one of the most famous drills that you see one of the best players in the world do is Justin Rose. What he'll often do is he'll swing to the top and he would feel like his arms are coming down underneath his body before he rotates. Now, when you isolate that movement, yes, for you as a golfer, if you've thrown that golf club out for the longest period of time, it's gonna feel like you're going to hit way behind the golf ball but that is actually a necessity to give you enough room from that position to there to then get that rotation through. So when you're working on this, what I recommend you do is you tee one up and then from here, we're just gonna do some small slow swings. Let's do some practice swings first. Swing into the top, feeling that the arms are coming down underneath, almost like the handle's dropping vertical down towards the ground and then rotate through to hit the ball. So let's see what that looks like coming off the club face. We're gonna swing to the top, bring the arms down into this position. You can see both arms along. And then from there, all we're gonna do is rotate through and chip the ball towards the target. Now, as you can see, that was the first one that actually started to the right and even had a little bit of draw bias to complement it. The reason being, once again, is as we got to the top, the arms came down rather than out. When we isolate that movement, it's gonna feel very odd. But if you combine that with the rotation, you can actually see that the combination of those will deliver you that swing, which is heading online with the target. So a great drill, a great exercise to remove those pull shots. If you're struggling out on the golf course, you're getting frustrated, everything seems to be heading to the left of the target for the right-hander. We'll try this exercise out next time you're on the range. Start off slow, do some practice swings, do some drill swings where you feel like the arms are coming down and then you're rotating through it. Combine that, turn that into some small chip shots and I'm sure it will help a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions at all, please ask me below. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.